if you really want to learn to move on and let go of things that have happened in life, it's a process. And I'll start this whole entire video off by saying, this ain't easy. We go through some serious stuff in life. There are traumas, there are events that hurt us badly, we have wounds, we have scars, and they seem to stack up endlessly living on planet Earth these days. But it doesn't let us off the hook of doing the work. We gotta actually go through a process of really learning to let go of some of these things, really healing some of these things that have happened, or else they just seem to create this kind of like garbage bin within your soul of all of this unresolved issues and all of these unresolved things that we haven't healed yet. And it takes up a lot of space and the repercussions of leaving that there can be a bit toxic, right? We don't get to live as the most authentic version of ourselves, the most trustworthy version of ourselves. I mean, there's many different things. I won't even dive into those. So this ain't easy, but here's the process that we have to go through. And it kicks off with one thing, acceptance. Acceptance is huge. If you do not accept what happened, that it was actually real in the first place, that it actually happened in your life, you're trapped. You're stuck forever. Because the truth is, it did happen. I'm not saying that you have to like it, right? There's a lot of things, and I've been working with people long enough, and I've heard a lot of stories where I get it, there's a lot of things to not like about what happens in life. But we have to accept that that was the reality, that this thing actually happened to really begin this healing process. Because without acceptance, nothing moves. And acceptance goes into accepting 100% responsibility not for what happened to you, but for what happens next. Judgment, blame, pointing fingers, it's another prison. It'll keep you stuck forever. If you point fingers and take 70% responsibility, you're 30% still in prison. You're still got this ball and chain around your leg. You got to take 100% responsibility. Like I said, not for what happened. That wasn't your fault, what they did or what happened in life, kind of like the weather. It just happened, right? And you don't have to like it, but you got to take 100% responsibility that this was real, right? This happened. It was real. And I am not going to allow this event to write my entire future. I got to turn this around as bad as it might have been. I gotta own this, I gotta turn it around, I gotta shift it, I gotta change it because I'm the only one that can do that work. No one else can do it for me. And if I blame other people and I judge other people and I point fingers, I'm never gonna be able to move past this event. This is hard, but it's what you gotta do. You gotta come to this place of acceptance, of embracing the responsibility for writing the pages that happen in the present moment, which determine your future. As bad as and painful as some of these things might be, you can't let them define you for the rest of your life. Are they part of your story? Yes, of course. But it's not about denying that they're part of your story. It's about acknowledging that they're part of your story and giving yourself all of your power back to move forward. There are some wicked things that happen in this world, but you can't count yourself out you got to find it within yourself to write the next pages because there's nothing on those pages. They're fresh, white, clean pages for you to write. And if you want to keep repeating the same old patterns of pain over and over again, it ends up being an unfortunate choice. But if you really want to move forward and you want to heal and you want to embrace your future as yours, you got to embrace taking 100% responsibility for what happens next. That's how you free yourself. No blame, no judgment, no pointing fingers. It might take you some time to get through that. But eventually, you got to come to a place where you go, this is not how the story is going to end for me. I get to decide how the story ends. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in learning about working with me personally in my coaching programs, please visit www.coachingwithevan.com.